And welcome back to BVG Reborn. Now, you guys are probably, if you saw VNN, you took note that, oh my god, there is just endless problems with people and people and people. People are stupid. No. Uh, to explain what happened and why there were some changes in BVG, let me turn, turn that down. Um, some items were taken. Now, you know, ever, most people know at least that um, Marcus and Movie had, you know, been waiting, trying to declare war forever, and so, you know, they got a hold of Lily's blood orb, and, you know, thing. now, here's the thing, I had no problem with that, none, because the blood orb is something you can just right-click, it's sitting out in the open, she didn't have her place defended, you know, like, sealed off, so they were able to just walk in and do it, so I had no problem with that. That was not the reason for the changes. The, the reason for the changes is I... You know, Lily had a bunch of st a bunch of stuff taken out of her chest. Now, the only way they can do that is with trust. And they broke a block above the chest. Excuse me. So, that's kind of the reason we had to make these changes, because I was tired of people, you know, the whole backstabbing thing, because that's not the point of the server. The server is, is a competition, guys. It's just to have fun. Oh, hey, look, I built a better castle than you. Ha 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 ha. Uh, I, uh... I'm I, I I was able to one shot the, the Ender Dragon. I don't know, you know, whatever. <laughs> you could just one shot the Ender Dragon, right? Um, it, it was one of those things of it was meant to be a competition. Yeah, sure, some people like PvP, so maybe there's some PvP side of the competition. Who knows? But it was never meant to be a sore note. Like, oh my God, I can't trust this person because they're gonna steal from me. That's that's childish, guys. That's not what it's for. So, I instituted the team rules first off. As you can see, there's blue names and there's also red names. Um, apparently, I'm out of those. Oh no, I'm not. Because there's, I don't know what it is that glitch that does that. But um, so now you know who's on whose team. Uh, there is no team swapping. I got rid of that, and you don't even have a choice. You have to choose a team. Now you can choose whatever team you want, boys, girls, you know, red versus blue, however you want to word it. And I went ahead and designed. Well, <clears throat> let me rephrase that. Lily designed. Um, I just put it into place. Is the team choosing room? Now, as you can see here, it's pretty. Lily did. What is this stuff? Bifrost block. Great. Um, the girls' team, the boys' team, choose wisely, and it says right here: choice is a requirement, guys. It is a requirement. Being on a team does not require PvP, because that's what a lot of people are like, oh my god, I don't want to PvP. It's not about PvP. It's a friendly competition. You can choose to leave by using the slash spawn or home command without choosing a team, but the machine will bring you back, uh, un until will keep bringing you back until you choose. See, back here, there is a machine. That machine will bring you back. Every, every person that doesn't have a team, it will bring to that spot every set amount of time. Now... It's very simple. You walk over to the team you want to choose, and you walk over. I don't actually think you need the, the pressure plate, but step on the pressure plate. Um, there's a little timer back there that's actually doing it, too, because for some reason, the pressure plate would lock the command block, and I'm not exactly sure. Here, turn this off. Same thing on the girls' side. Uh, and once you're on a team, you can't change. So, I mean, like, right now, I'm in the guys' things. If I walk over here, still on the guys' team does not matter once you're locked into the team you're locked into the team and you will choose otherwise this will get re this guy right here will get really annoying he will because <laughs> he will pull you from wherever you are and you don't have a the slash back command is only if you died so choose the team don't be a little whiner don't be like i don't want to be i don't think i should have to choose no this is the whole point of the server is the concept of the boys versus girls which has kind of gone away it's not really boys versus girls per se hi witches um it's oh shoot, let's turn the arrow on. Um, it's more now, you know, just the, the the teams and kind of stuff. Like I'm building a city over there. You guys can see on the map. You know, you guys know what I'm building over here. I'm building the the Aquapolis. We're gonna turn all this into. You see where all this green is? This is the start. Um, I'm gonna be turning all except for this island. No. Yeah, it must be right here. Right around here somewhere, I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to turn this in, just leave this as an island. 
And I might maybe do that... Ah, uh, this is too big of an area, but maybe I'll do it out here too. But basically, I'm going to turn all this into ocean. Ocean. I'm going to cut this off, leave this an island. And it's just going to be ocean around here. And I'm going to reduce my claim. Because right now, I have most of this island claimed. I'm going to bring it all in so that, you know, people can build closer to the Aquapolis. But it's going to be on all on the ocean. So, yeah, that, that'd be cool. That'd be cool, right? 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 That's cool. That's cool. I don't know why I'm releasing a Sunday video. I never release Sunday videos, guys. Um... But I thought I would, mainly because this is kind of a serious issue. And I don't want people to think that, oh, you know, I'm just being grouchy because people didn't, you know, boys or girls. I, I never cared about, I, I like to harass people. That is why I harass Ty and Spence and those people that chose, the, the boys that chose the girls team. I totally will always harass them. There's girls on the boys team now. We got Ash over here now. I mean, not many people have selected their team yet, so I don't have, you know, what that... But as I said, guys, the team itself does not matter. You can still hang out with each other. It's not that big of a deal. I don't really care that. It's just the concept of combined accomplishment. It's a friendly competition. Haven't you, you? I know you all are that way. Girls especially. Guys even more. You know, it's, it, you know you're competitive. Even if it's something stupid as, oh, hey, my house. Well, I don't have a house. My storage room looks cooler. Oh, my shivering cow is the best thing ever. You know, oh, I killed this. I got a cool new shiny pink armor. You know, it, there's always some sort of competition. Still don't know what the hell this thing is. Um, and so it's just realize it's not about PvP. It's not about you can't hang out with your friends. It's just the concept of a team. I want to eventually do kind of server event type stuff where we do like little competitions like, you know, I was going to build a parkour course, you know, see, you know, how, you know, who, who, which team could do it the best in the shortest amount of time or something like that, you know, just little friendly stuff. And of course, Lily wants to add, you know, we have the custom NPC mod, so there's going to be some story added to it and maybe it'll be specific to girls or guys, you know, whatever. And maybe there's a PVP war, who knows? You know, we can always, uh, if it's that big, if people are going to whine that much about a little PvP, because let's be honest, you don't lose anything. Um, I'm horrible at PvP. But it doesn't mean I'm going to sit there and be like, oh, I don't want Wait, why is that like that? Is that normal? That's probably normal. Um, I don't know, it's probably normal. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's mainly what I wanted to do for this video. Um, I also wanted to show off my, I think I showed this off last time, but I don't know if I added this for you guys last time, but basically I'm funneling apples into this Gorma, Gormorillus, and it pumps mana, and then, um, for Eldron keeps asking for stuff, come on Eldron, you're a guy, um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying, you know me, I forget things, um, oh, yeah, because we're I, this thing right here, this typesetting table and this printing press thing is amazing. Except, God, forty levels of experience right here is what it takes. Forty levels. Now, I have the Wither Spawner, so I can kind of get a lot of exper exper experience. But I wish I knew an easier way to turn essence into XP. I mean, I have this little. <laughs> I have this little machine down here, which is not a bad machine. It's supposed to chime about as fast as this machine can make new ones. Yeah. Um, basically, what it does is all the essence that mobs die fills this thing, and then it goes into this... What is this thing called again? An auto-enchanter, and you can make bottles of enchanting... I just wish there was an easier way to convert it into XP because this this is this is annoying. Uh, but I always have tons of essentia or essence essence essentia is the thaumcraft stuff. Uh, I have tons of essence and I can convert it into XP really slowly. And then I've, of course I've got the Wither Killer, but it just doesn't keep up. Like I need I need I need XP. Because, like, I mean, we got 92 levels in there. Don't get me wrong. We got 92 levels. But XP... XP is amazing. See, if we had the Draconic Evolution Grinder, we'd get so much more XP. Maybe if I get one of those mana heads in a bottle. 
Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. No, because these guys don't drop experience because it gets immediately sucked into this by this machine and turned into acid. So this won't help us. And in here is the same machine, actually, so it doesn't really matter. I could possibly set up some Killer Joes, but eh. I mean, eh. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're out of stuff. Wait, why are we out of stuff? Oh, why was that like that? That was weird. Get in there. That was weird. Yeah, because this is the ascent. This stuff right here powers both the Killer Joes and my inventory panel right there, which is so weird. This thing doesn't take power to, you know, this nice, cool inventory thing where you can be like iron, right? There's all my iron. Uh, wow, we have 23,000 ore. Holy sh Um, let's grab some more of that. I need to convert this to iron ingots somehow because God help us. And this is the best way to do it. You get three ingots per, uh, with a piece of charcoal, but it, it, there's no way to, I can't figure out how to feed it. So I need to come up with something else. But anyways, yeah, this, this was going to be a short video intended specifically because, um, I wanted to address those server concerns. Realize, for those that are on the server, it's not about PvP. Yes, Marcus wants a war. Lily has accepted and wants a war. You should talk to Lily about that. Um, I, however, do not because I don't. I'm, I'm trying to finish. I want my city. Okay, I have been trying to build a city on a server forever, and every time it just goes away. What? What is? Why is there? I can't do that. Okay, it's not that. How about that? I mean, I get it. You can see through the floor, but it's so distracting with only that couple blocks. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, three. Yoink, 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 and yoink, yoink. Okay, but uh, this is our uh, our. Oh, well, I don't know how many plates for that, but uh, this is our. Uh, that that uh, like green you saw there that was because of the world machine right here cutting it's not actually cutting holes anymore i just wanted it to uh yes uh it's because the reason they they fill up in here this is a a, a buffer chest because basically oh let's pull those out um the this thing out pumps whoa whoa there's some frame rate okay uh as you can see how fast this stuff comes in and goes out yeah it goes super fast it, the machine the other machine can't handle that speed so it's like crap all right so let's put these books away and that's pretty much all i got today guys i was just more or less going to talk about the, the why the server is uh, why we had made that big change and uh what not and also um yeah the, there we're we're still talking it, it's the, the only problem, I might, if I put up a world border, I think I could probably add more people. Just because the only time the server has problems is when you have, like, oh, why is this here? And this here? And this here? Why, why are these here? Wait, why are those there? Oh, the Tesseract! Really? Crap on a shingle. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Alright, so let's pull you and you. Because you guys are chests. And kind of important. And then we'll grab you. Thank you. Land, please. And we're just going to break this. There we go. I forgot the Tesseract autofills stuff. So let's go ahead and put this... Um, It's just, it's just, I am running so low on storage. I mean, it's not even funny, guys. Okay, let's do that. Um, okay, so now I should be able to put these away. Yep, okay. I was wondering, I was like, why is there cobblestone there? That, that's not something I would put. It's the Tesseract. Uh, I didn't, 
I never knew the Tesseract will automatically put stuff out. Like, see how like it's next to the Ender chest right there. The Tesseract's what's putting that stuff in that chest. I always thought you had to pipe stuff out of a Tesseract. Boy, was I wrong. But uh, anyways, guys, that's all I got today. It's a short video, I know, and I'm sorry it wasn't as exciting or entertaining or something. But you know, it, it had to happen. I had to talk about this issue because it was very important and. You guys in my community is very important to me, so I want to make sure you guys understand why things are done the way they are. And uh, so, yeah, there's that. Um, but that's pretty much all I got, guys. Um, I want to thank you all for watching the video. Uh, as always, uh, if you guys want to see more, don't forget to uh, favorite, like, thumbs up it. I love thumbs up. Um, we take all the bananas. Um, I forgot what I was saying. You know me. I always forget. Uh, these storage drawers, by the way, Carton, totally awesome find. This mod that puts these storage drawers. They're kind of like barrels, but they're so much cooler. And they have this machine right here. The controller. Now, you can't take anything out of it, but let's say I got, you know, one of these, one of these, one of these. I can just go yoink, double click, and it's in there. Walk over here, grab an apple. I live off apples, guys. I mean, I have 46 stacks of apples from this farm right here. And this is not even a big farm. When, you got to understand, there's going to be four of these farms going in the, the city. Uh, basically, if I go zoom in here, on each side here, on the, on the cardinal directions, so here, and I'm assuming you guys can see my mouse, here, here, and here are going to be tree farms. Which are all going to funnel everything, and there's going to be mana generation here, here, here. And this is all underneath the city. And there's going to be tesseracts and mana particles and shit moving all over. And this, see how this is an outer ring? That's going to be the, the thickness of the wall. And there's going to be, that's where all the pipes and the tunnels are going to leave the mana. And then the mana is going to shoot in from different cardinal sides. So it's going to look. It's, I have a lot of plans for the city. Uh, and you're probably wondering. Yes, this has been cut out of the world. This is a giant open hole. This is the was used uh, using the builder guide so I can get the circles. Um, it is a perk of being an admin. I mean, this is all snow, you know, easily renewable resource. But a perk of being an admin is I have creative mode that allows me to throw a block into the builder guide to create the circles. So, yes, the giant circle is made by creative mode. Uh, it's a perk of being an admin. Uh, but it's all renewable stuff. It's not like any resource. I mean, it's snow. And I don't know if you noticed. Let's see. Is it over here? Uh, no. Yeah, there's 26 stacks of snow there. Demi had this machine set up that did it for over somewhere. Wow, he's he's all about this stuff. Uh, it's not the Aquius accumulator. Where is his snow manufacturer? Wait, what's this? Is that it? Ah, glacial precipitator. You can make ice, snow, snowballs, y you know, so we have the snow, and that's why I chose snow I like. I love snow, because it looks great. Um, you guys want to see? I'll show it. So here is the bowl, as you can see, loading in very slowly. Come on. Come on. This is the bowl. Now, the bottom's going to have some wa is going to be, you know, water in it, and I'm going to bring, as you can see over here, the walls are, you know, about five blocks above the ocean, and the ocean's going to be brought, bam, smack up to this thing. I kind of wanted it a little lower, but apparently I misjudged. But uh, the, the ocean's going to be brought straight up to this thing, and then I'm going to cut holes in it in certain parts, and it's going to be like a dam where water flows in. And, of course, there's going to be water down here, and then basically the structures are going to be floating in here. Like, the main structure will be, you know... We'll say right here in the middle, and it's going to rise up. So, you know, basically, if you were out there, you'd see this small ring and then a structure sticking out. You can't see my hands. You can't see my hands. Um, so that's basically what we're doing. But, yes, before anybody, you know, goes, whoa, man, you did that. No, I didn't do this by hand. This is using the building guide. Uh, Lily told me about it. It's apparently awesome. Uh, all the mining, though, is done with our power and all that type of stuff. So, uh, whoop. Oh, it's not here. It's over there, actually. The quarry's over there. 
I don't know why it starts from this side. And oh, and what's really cool is <laughs> you can see see these mushrooms. What it does is it how Ender Quarry works is it mines a block and replaces it with dirt. So I don't know why it replaces most of this with grass. As you can see, grass. It put the grass there. I didn't put any grass blocks anywhere in here. It just automatically when it when it replaces the top layer puts grass. So of course, y'all know grass spreads, mycelium spreads. It's like a war. As you can see right here, <laughs> it's like a war, <laughs> but it looks like mycelium's losing. So, but anyways, guys, that's all I got. I want to thank y'all for watching. Me and my sophisticated monocle. We'll see you guys next time.